in terms of a probability of getting anything done related to healthcare this year, I know they said that they're committed to going to the next step, which would be tax reform. Um, you know, can they sneak in and come to an agreement, uh, a bill, and get it passed in 2017? And if not, then what happens in 2018, especially as we kind of start approaching the, the midterm elections? Um, and Republicans are clearly looking to get a few seats in the Senate. Um, you know, how does that dynamic impact the probability of getting something passed uh, next year, if not this year? Um, I would say that the, the pressure to get something done this year is, is, is important. Um, even if it's not major stuff, um, you know, small tweaks uh, to the bill. The, 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 the got to have for the Democrats is Republicans will stop talking about uh, repeal of the Affordable Care Act. And again, it wasn't really repeal. What we're talking about is the language you're using, not actually what we're doing. There's a fairly big connect, disconnect between those two things. Um, so the, 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 the pressure to do something this year is still pretty high uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, the first is you know, come August, your primaries were going to start um, uh, heating up, and for the 2018 um, elections, if you're in a safe seat, you're fine. But you know, if there's any chance you might um, get a primary opponent, um, you're going to be a little bit more uh, careful. Um, so the the other pressure here is that the individual market is in in trouble, notwithstanding the CBO score about it being stable, um, notwithstanding it, it's not in a death spiral. The truth of the matter is, is that it, it isn't a big part of any major insurance company's business. It's the individual market. It is heavily regulated more than, and as I said in a note recently, the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. Um, so as we roll into the uh, plan approval process this um, June and July, and as more insurers start peeling off, um, you could have a, a significant problem where there is no health insurer in the individual market in certain counties in the United States. And that's the case in Tennessee. There are around Knoxville, there are 16 counties that do not have um, an individual insurer. Uh, so those are, those are kind of the two uh, pressure points, I think, that are that might drive something, if not huge, at least something to happen this week. And of course, there's all these things that could happen via regulation. Okay, <clears throat> great, that was really helpful.